Hey, well, welcome World Entertainment. And this is a weird story. But the Batman supervillain, Clayface, is possibly rumoured to be in Matt Reeves' The Batman 2. I don't know how that would work, being that the Batman seems to be kind of a grounded real world style. And I don't know how you'd put a villain like Clayface in there. But there's an article that kind of tells you a bit about why this has come up. So we'll have a look at that. So it says exclusive. Dr. Sleep filmmaker Mike Flanagan has pitched a feature version of Clayface over at the studio. Several sources tell Deadline. However... No, by the way, the studio, of course, is Warner Brothers. No word on greenlighting it yet. And the studio has not said no. There are no offers and no deals. Though typically a DC supervillain in the Flanagan pick shouldn't move forward, he wouldn't be a bad guy. So we hear. Which is also strange, because apparently his pitches from what other places have said was not just to have the very first time Clayface in live action but they wanted to kind of do it that it'd be in the vein of the Joker in terms of a standalone and if Joker was very much the villain why couldn't you do it with Clayface weird but anyway where does that Flanagan and his intrepid pitcher's partner Trevor Macy had a meeting with DC bosses James Gunn and Peter Safran. Flanagan, we understand, wasn't pitching the character to be part of Matt Reeves' DC Elseworld, The Batman 2, set for an October 3rd, 2025. 2025? I thought that was filming. Well, maybe it isn't. It must be filming next year then. Anyway, goes on and that said, other sources are telling us that scripts are constantly changing and that Clayface is a big addition to Matt Reeves' The Batman 2. So, apparently, what the rumour is, and take it with a grain of salt here, big grain of salt, is that he's gone in and pitched the idea of doing a live-action Clayface standalone movie to Warner Brothers but Warner Brothers said no to that idea for now but decided he could work at being in The Batman 2 so we could possibly be getting for the very first time in live action form Clayface but it will be in the Batman 2. And as I said, I don't know how that would work when you think of the character of Clayface. For anyone who is unfamiliar with Clayface, he's basically DC's version of the Sandman. He's a big clay monster. <laughs> so when you think of what the Riddler was like in the Batman, what well, Penguin was like in the Batman unfortunately what we know the Joker's like in the Batman it it doesn't really make sense how you'd get a character like Clayface in that version of Batman you know it, it would be like doing that character in the Nolan trilogy it just it wouldn't fit it, it's it's a very bizarre one. Very, very bizarre. He, I, I mean, he could show up in James Gunn's DCU, but I, I, I don't take much in terms of believing this rumour. I think it's a bit too far-fetched of a character for the type of movie they're talking about. Not just the solo movie. I don't I cannot see Clayface being given a solo movie. Uh, but I definitely don't see them putting him in the Batman Part 2. I could be very wrong, but I doubt it. 
<laughs> um, yeah, so Clayface uh, was a, a person whose name was Basil Carlo. And he's forever changing because he was exposed to a strange clay lake substance. Uh, he was an actor. Uh, and he, uh, his main foe was Batman. So unless they just do the character of Basil, Basil, Basley, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, I'm pretty sure it's Basil. Um, unless they just do a character like that, I don't see them doing the actual uh, incarnation of Clayface himself. But of course, if they just do a character like uh, Carlo, I d <laughs> you're asking a lot of people to understand who the hell that is. But it's a strange rumor. It's an interesting one. It's probably not going to happen. But we'll keep an eye on it. Anyway, with that, I'll leave it there for this one. So cheers, and I'll catch you in the next one.